Hello teachers, in this we will look at CPA approach to teach mathematical concepts. In this video, you will understand what is the CPA approach and what are the benefits of CPA approach in understanding maths. CPA is a highly effective approach to teaching that develops a deep and sustainable understanding of maths in students. In this method, we break the whole process of teaching maths concept into three stages. The first stage, C, stands for concrete. The second stage, P, is for pictorial. And the third and the final stage, A, stands for abstract. The teaching process involves moving from concrete materials to pictorial representations and finally to abstract symbols and problems. Let's deep dive into each of these stages. The first stage, concrete, is a doing stage. During this stage, new concepts are taught through the use of physical objects. Unlike rote learning, this approach brings concept to life by allowing children to experience and handle objects. For example, if the concept being taught involves addition, students can be given a set of pencils. If there are six pencils, and we add one more pencil to the bunch, then the total number of pencils we have would be seven. This way, they can learn how the concept of addition works through the objects given to them. After the concrete stage, we move on to the second stage, which is a pictorial stage, the seeing stage. This stage makes a connection between physical object the child has and handled with a visual representation of it. We only move to this stage when a child has sufficiently understood the concrete experience and can relate to the concept via pictorial representations. In case of our addition example, this stage would be drawing objects like hearts and counting them together to get the total. Once children have a good understanding of the concept through the use of concrete objects and pictorial images, we move to the third stage, which is the abstract stage. This is also called a symbolic stage where children are introduced to work with numbers and symbols and their relations to each other. In our example, children in this stage use the numerical like six and one and count forward to get the total seven. In this manner, the CPA approach helps in strengthening the understanding of concepts with tangible ob objects which children can touch to the pictorial representations that they can see to finally numbers and mathematical symbols that they can work with. Although CPA has three distinct stages, teachers need to go back and forth between them to reinforce and explain concepts. Using CPA approach helps students to understand concepts easily. As many children have fear of math, this approach makes them more comfortable and confident in working with numbers. It makes children remember concepts for a long time and helps them apply these concepts in their overlapping areas. We will deep dive to the CPA approach for various math concepts in the coming videos. Hope you like this video teachers. See you in the next one.